Hello everyone and welcome to a really wild game that was played yesterday in Chess.com's Open Bullet Championship and it was suggested to me on Twitter by a username Rimbo so thank you for that. Uh, I doubt I would have found it myself and it would really be a shame if you guys didn't see it. It's uh, so good that it could be played in any time format and uh, bear in mind that this is a bullet game but not the actual bullet, uh, it's a 1 plus 1 so every move they make uh, they get a 1 second increment. Uh, so without further ado let's check it out and uh, let's see what this uh, well uh, position in the in the thumbnail is all about uh, alireza firuja uh, with the white pieces opens with d4 or or does he no he doesn't uh, i don't know what's wrong with the <laughs> interface uh, for the past few days, but it seems to be lagging. Okay, so Firuja opens with the d4, knight f6 by Hikaru, and knight to f3. Uh, we have e6, e3, and just a d5. So just a normal call system here. Uh, b3 by Firuja, preparing to Fianchetto, the dark square bishop, and c5 by Hikaru, striking in the center. Uh, bishop to b2, and Hikaru trades once. We have captures, captures, and knight to c6. So this has all been played before, a lot of games in the uh, database with uh, uh, this this exact move order, knight b to d2, uh, and now bishop to d6. Both players now preparing to castle their kings, bishop to d3, and now both Hikaru and Firuja castle. And here, bishop to d7. So just continuing development, and Hikaru gets his knight into the center, knight e5, and uh, this is uh, always, uh, well, most of the times an excellent square for the knight. Uh, you cannot trade knight for knight because you lose a piece, and uh, otherwise uh, you can just trade maybe bishop for knight, but that's not something you want to do this bishop is an excellent piece and you want to keep it there for as long as possible and now there are some 10 games in the database that actually reach this exact same position where knight to b4 was played challenging white slide square bishop but here we have rook to c8 by hikaru and it is as of move 10 that we have a completely new game so let's see uh, how the game continues. Uh, Firuja goes a3, now takes away the b4 square from uh, from the dark knight, and knight to e7 now, shifting the knight over to the king side. We have f4, now defending that nice uh, knight nicely twice, and knight to f5 now. Uh, and here, just queen to f3, everything is nicely defended. Uh, and now queen to b6, with a double attack on the d4 pawn. So obviously, uh, Alireza needs to defend it, he does so by playing queen to f2, and now uh, Hikaru trades once on e5. He doesn't think this bishop will come alive anytime soon, so uh, he decides to trade here. Bishop captures, pawn captures, and now knight to g4. Again, attacking the queen, and uh, the queen needs to keep an eye on the d4 square, so queen to f4. And now just knight g to e3 with an attack on the rook. And also there's now a double attack on the pawn on c2. So uh, taking uh, those things into account, just rook f to c1, uh, getting rid of both threats. And now comes bishop to b5. And this is uh, where our game really gets uh, really interesting. Here you could do bishop captures on f5. It's of course possible. Uh, but Firuja goes for g4. And now what do you do here? Your knight is under attack. So here uh, he just decides, uh, Hikaru decides that uh, this is not a problem and he plays bishop captures on d3 c captures and now knight to c2 just attacking that rook on a1 uh, but this is what firuja wanted he wanted to, to create some sort of a an imbalance in the position and get an attack going he goes g captures on f5 now of course he's hoping for something like uh, f uh, if he gets f6 and queen to g5 in then it's game over so uh, Hikaru boldly grabs the rook knight captures on a1 and now uh, f6 is still too uh, too early for that if you go f6 now then uh, Hikaru has this rook captures on c1 with check and that rook on c1 uh, can uh, could have been used for the attack for example bishop captures on c1 now you can capture here and after captures just king h8 and the rook is coming to g8 with tempo uh, so you will not uh, have any 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 checks with checkmates following so after knight captures on a1, rook captures on a1 by Firuja, and now comes uh, rook to c2. And this is a critical position in the game. Uh, here uh, you have to play f6. You cannot allow white to play f6 because if white gets f6 in, uh, black is just done for. But Hikaru, for some reason, allows it. He plays rook to c2, and now uh, he, uh, Firuja, of course, immediately goes f6. And now what do you play here? Uh, well, obviously, you cannot go grabbing pieces because if you capture just queen g5, and that's game over. Uh, nothing for you to do there. Uh, even if you even if you capture this with check, just king h1, and there 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 are no more checks. This is just happening, and that's it. G6, of course, uh, uh, loses the queen to h6, and still there, there there's no move here for for black. 
So here instead, after this uh, uh, f6 move, uh, we have h6 by Hikaru. But just for fun, uh, we're going to show what happens if the pawn is captured. If the pawn is captured, then comes queen to h6. And now king to h1 and rook to g1 are a big threat. So here f5. Uh, and now comes king to h1 as planned. Now comes f6, making some room uh, for the king to escape here. But now e captures on f6. And it's going to be uh, an impossible position for black to defend. You're going to have to go back. Rook c7, then comes rook g1, check. King f7, rook to g7, check. And now uh, it's just uh, black's entire position is falling apart. Uh, so uh, instead of going for this, uh, we have h6 by Hikaru. Maybe this will be a, a sturdier defense. Uh, and now comes... Uh, king to h1. Uh, Firuja prepares to bring the rook over to g1. Uh, but again, uh, capturing on g7 is perfectly fine. Uh, for example, if king captures on g7, you have to play bishop to c1. But this is incredibly hard to find. But I will show it just because it's very interesting. And now, it, not much you can do to defend this. For example, queen c6 going after the bishop here. Knight to e4 now. And now the bishop is defended twice. And if you capture the knight, then this is winning. Captures with check. King to g8. Now queen g5 check. King goes to h8, queen h5 check, king goes back, and now bishop to h6, and there is no defense against the uh, check and the mate. Uh, so instead, after this knight to e4 move, you cannot capture the knight, you'd have to go rook to h8 to defend the h6 pawn, uh, but it doesn't matter. Knight to d6 now with the attack on the f7 pawn, and after this is defended, king to h1, now the rook comes into the game. King f8, you're going to play bishop to e3, and now after, let's say, rook h7, rook to f1, uh, or even better, queen to h4, and there's uh, there, there's simply no, no holding this for black. So it's a really, uh, really terrible position uh, for Hikaru. So after this move, uh, like I said, uh, you could capture, but we have king to h1, Firuja wants to immediately bring the rook here. Uh, and now comes g5, uh, attacking that queen, rook to g1, all the same, since now you cannot capture the queen, and rook f to c8. Uh, so again, what do you play here? Queen to h4 is one possibility going after the h6 pawn. Firuja goes knight to f3, he wants to bust open with knight captures on g5. And Hikaru says, okay, I'm just going to move my king here so it doesn't come with any checks. And now Firuja just goes for it, uh, knight captures on g5. Queen, uh, pawn captures and queen captures. And now uh, this is the threat of checkmate since the pawn uh, is preventing the king from escaping to e7. So king to e8, this is a must. Uh, queen to g8 check, king to d7, and now queen captures on f7 with check. King to c6, if you go here, it's just a checkmate with the rook, so that's uh, out of the question. So king has to run away, queen captures on e6 is happening, king to b5, and now queen captures on d5. So Firuja gobbles up all of Hikaru's pawns, and now he has uh, three connected pass pawns here, and also a very nice attack. The king is still in check, king to a6, and we finally reach the position from the thumbnail. Uh, there's only one move that wins this position, so it's, uh, it's a very difficult move to find. Feel free to pause the video and try to win this position for white uh, while I give you a couple of seconds. So uh, for those of you who were able to do it, congratulations on spotting this incredibly difficult move to find. Uh, and for those of you who just want to enjoy the show, uh, it's actually Rook to G2. Uh, rook to g2 just uh, not allowing any doubling up of the rooks uh, on the second rank and also not allowing any uh, rook to h8 ideas to, to drop on this pawn here. And now once you've uh, prevented this, everything is nicely defended. You cannot go rook to c1. Uh, there's not all that much for black to do here. And now white will have his chance uh, of pushing those pawns and uh, it will be it will be a, a very good game for white. And the black has to play uh, incredibly correct just to not lose immediately. Uh, for example, uh, once a4 comes, that queen is stuck there. You cannot allow queen to b5. It's, uh, it will be impossible to hold this. And of course, I I if you capture the rook, for example, rook captures, you're going to play king captures. And even rook to c2 check king g3, you simply don't care about this. If rook captures here, you're just going to play queen to c4 with check, and that's it. K uh, king to a5, for example, queen to a4 checkmate. Uh, or you can go uh, queen to b5, but you don't really care. Captures, captures, and now... Uh, all of the, these pawns are, of course, winning just f7, and the, the rook is not in time to pick up the, uh, any, any of them. 
So uh, this is what would have been best here uh, after this uh, king to a6 move, uh, this rook to g2. However, it was an incredibly hard move to find uh, and Firuja decided to go for f7 instead. And now we have this position uh, where white, uh, I mean, it looks like white is perfectly crushing it, but, uh, you know, not all is as it seems. Because here, uh, black has a couple of ways to deal with this position. One of them is to go rook to f2. You simply stop this pawn, and now it's a very quick draw by repetition, because you cannot allow rook to c2 to go after this pawn. You'd have to block it, but now just rook to f1 check, and we get a nice repetition here. So that's out of the question. So after f7, we have rook captures on b2, Hikaru now will try to double up this way, uh, however here we have rook to f1. Uh, now Firuja wants to advance that uh, f7 pawn to victory, but again there was only one move that saves the position for white and that's a4. You have to play with those pawns, uh, those pawns are uh, your only way of uh, doing anything here. For example now rook c to c2, now you trade queens, queen checks on b5, captures, captures with check, King captures, and now, of course, you are threatening to bring the queen into the game. However, Hikaru would be threatening checkmate. So first, you have to prevent checkmate, uh, give your king some breeding room, and then we would have another draw by repetition. Rook b1 check, rook g1, then again, you threaten checkmate, white has to block, rook b1 check, blocks, and so on. Another uh, draw by threefold repetition. So after this rook captures on b2, uh, Firuja goes rook to f1 instead, and now it's a problem. Hikaru goes rook c to c2 immediately. Uh, and Firuja brings a queen into the game. Queen to, uh, queen to f8. Uh, now there are two queens on the board for white, but it's actually a checkmate in three for Hikaru. So once again, feel free to pause the video and win this game for Hikaru uh, while I give you a couple of seconds. So uh, for those of you who were able to do it, congratulations on spotting the sequence. And for those of you who just want to enjoy the show, it's rook captures on h2 with check. King g1. And now, of course, you cannot go rook here with checkmate because the queen covers that. But not a problem. Queen to g6 check. It's uh, amazing how that queen wiggles out, uh, you know, in between the, the two white queens. But they are powerless to stop uh, uh, the, the attack. Now, you have to go queen to g2, uh, you were so very happy that you were covering that square, but now not so much, and here, of course, captures or captures would be checkmate, so, for example, captures here uh, would be checkmate. Uh, so yeah, uh, but the game uh, didn't continue after queen to g6 check, uh, Firuja resigned and uh, an excellent uh, win for Hikaru, who, who took uh, a 4-2 to two lead uh, after, this, after this game. Uh, so yeah, uh, thanks once again to Rimbo for uh, suggesting this game. It was uh, quite a brutal game, and it's always funny. Like this is a bullet game, one plus one. Okay, not not uh, the the super bullet, uh, but still, so many possibilities and so many things that could have happened in, in a bullet game is just. Uh, I mean, it, it, it's uh, incredible. Uh, so yeah, it all came down to this. After this king to a6 move, uh, Firuja had to find rook to g2. But I mean, look at this position. You have a you have your bishop stuck on b2. Black is threatening to capture it. You have ideas like a4, maybe maybe trading the queen right away. You have ideas of pushing those pass pawns. You have I mean, who who thinks of rook to g2? It's uh, not a move I I think would uh, have been easily found in in uh, larger time formats, let alone in in a bullet game. Uh, but yeah, you were, uh, you know, in, in the comfort of your own home, so perhaps you, you were able to solve it, and if you had, once again, congratulations. Uh, so yeah, uh, that's uh, the game, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I would like to thank uh, Abdel uh, Traore, uh, Matt O'Brien, Rafael Ferreira, uh, Marvin Sparrow, and Brian Gura for a contribution to my channel. Thank you a lot, I really appreciate it. Uh, as usual, you can check to all my previous videos here. Thank you all for watching, and uh, I will see you soon. Continuing the coverage of the Morphe saga, checking up on your wonderful suggestions such as this one and whatever else happens uh, in the chess world. Thank you all, I will see you soon and have an excellent rest of your day.